Hello, let's go ahead and begin. For today, we also have as homework this page, week two, skills three, page two. But before we begin working on it, let's go ahead and review some of our vocabulary. Give me a second, let me try to enlarge this. There we go. Now, this is some um, review about quadrilaterals. And these words, these vocabulary words, you are going to be using to solve some of your questions. If at any time you don't know, you don't remember any of these vocabulary words, just pause, rewind, go back and look at them. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this. When we begin with quadrilaterals, quadrilaterals are closed figures with four sides. So let's go ahead and check this image that they give us. Does it have four sides? One, two, three, four. Yes. Is it a closed figure? Now, what do they mean by a closed figure? Let's say this. That figure is not closed because it's missing one side. That's what they mean by closed figure. So yes, it is a closed figure. And yes, it has four sides. Parallelogram, which is this one right here a parallelogram. Let's look at the parallelogram. Opposite sides, parallel and congruent. Now, what, what does parallel mean? If we remember parallel, we used that example, uh, let's say you're Elastigirl or Elastiboy, and you would extend, throw your arms forward, and they would go on like rubber bands, and they would never meet. Those are parallel lines. If they were crossed somewhere along the way, then they're no longer parallel. Um, congruent. Congruent, we said, we repeated that over and over and over. Congruent means the same. Congruent means the same. Right? So opposite sides are parallel. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let me see. If I extend this line and imagine that it goes on forever, does it cross? No, they would be like railroad tracks. They wouldn't cross. All right, so that one passes. Now look at the other one. Are these two lines parallel? Yes, they are parallel. Okay, so let me erase all of this. Now, are they congruent? Are they the same? And we can tell, yes, they are the same. So let's go to rumbas. It's a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Again, parallelogram with four congruent sides. Let me check. Parallelogram, congruent sides, the same. Okay, so let's go to a square. A square is a parallelogram with four right angles and four congruent sides. What are my angles right here? These are my angles. Three and four angles. Congruent, the same. That means that it has the same sides, yes. Parallelogram, yep, these lines go on forever and these lines go on forever, so yes. Rectangle. Rectangle, again, a parallelogram with four right angles. What's the difference between a square and a rectangle? The square has congruent sides. The rectangle does not. Two are longer, two are shorter. So they are not the same. Parallelogram, yes, with four right angles. One, two, three, and four. Yes. Trapezoid. One pair of opposite parallel sides. Now let's look at this. This is going to be a clear image of how this is not a parallelogram. I'm going to imagine that this line goes on, whoops, very off the line, that this line goes on forever. And that this line goes off forever. You see how they crossed right there. So that's not a parallelogram. But it says one side, one pair of opposite parallels. So let's see if the other, the other lines are parallel. If those go on forever, these go on forever, they are parallel. 
they would not meet. Okay, so you can always go back to this um, information. You're answering your question. Let's go ahead and answer question number three. I will help you with question number three. You will um, try to answer question number four by yourself. A group of figures is shown below. Which of these figures does not appear to be a trapezoid, pentagon, parallelogram, or a quadrilateral? So let me analyze my information. First of all, a group of figures is shown. And what is my question? What is it asking of me? Which of these figures does not, so it's a no, appear to be a trapezoid, pentagon, parallelogram, or quadrilateral? So what I have to know for this uh, question, in order for me to solve this question, is what is a trapezoid, what is a pentagon, what is a parallelogram, and what is a quadrilateral? And I have attached down here our information. So first of all, let's look at quadrilateral because if we remember when we were in class, we discussed quadrilateral and we used a Spanish version of that, cuatro lados. There you go, a little bit of Spanish in there. Quadri, cuatro, lateral, sides, lados. Quadri means four, lateral means sides, four sides. Okay, so let me go ahead and start with that because I think that's really easy to determine if it has four sides. Let me look at figure M. One, two, three, four. Okay, four sides. One, two, three, four. Four sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. All right. So I already know that I have Um, three that are not quadrilaterals. So I have figure O, figure P, and figure Q. That could be my answers. O, P, and Q. Look at my answer choices. Which two can I just say, nope, this is not going to be my answer. Well, I have letter N on A and B, and I know that my only possible choices are O, P, and Q. So no, um, this is not my answer, and this is not my answer. I have P, and I have P and Q. All right, so let me see at, uh, my other answer choices. I have trapezoid. What is a trapezoid? Do we know what a trapezoid is? And if you look down here, trapezoid right there. Do I have anything that looks like that in my possible answer choices? No. Okay. How about pentagon? How many sides does a pentagon have? If you know that a pentagon has five sides, which one is a pentagon? Here, this is a pentagon, five sides. So I know that O and Q are out of the question, so which one is my only possible answer? My only possible answer is P. My answer is letter C. There you go. So go ahead and try questions four and five by yourself. If you need any help, if you do not understand, you can always contact me, send me a class dojo message, a text message, give me a call.